Art's been a part of my life since I was a young girl. You know, everything from painting and, and uh, using watercolors, pastels, oils. I've always loved beautiful handmade papers and decided that I'd like to try to see what I could do with those along with painting. And I thought, okay, what will happen if I take a blank canvas and it's nothing but paper? And then decided that that was it. Paper was going to be my medium. Part of what I deeply love are the mountains of North Carolina. Every day, any time of the year, there's just something glorious to see here. How can you not just be totally inspired every day? When I start a piece, I actually take a blank canvas and I want to first off completely cover the canvas in paper. So generally the sky is going to go in first. And then I look back into the depths of the picture and start building forward. Then I go to my papers and I really start looking at the greens that I want to use, the browns that I want to use, what textures can I get, what colors, how many different reds are in that tree. Then begin to cut and tear all the paper somewhat mimicking the different shapes of leaves, um, maybe for like a maple leaf or a birch tree leaf. The rhododendron leaf is totally different, so I do try to, to kind of replicate that somewhat. Those are the things that go to adding the detail that I try to capture in each piece. By the time the piece is done, you can see back into the depth of that piece. I'm thinking as I do a piece, okay, I, I want to make you feel like you could actually look around those rocks, or I think I could reach out and actually pick that flower or take a step over that rock and, and be in that stream. In that moment, you're in that scene. It's captured you. 